Fight fans, fight fans, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News. And this is the breakdown of Effie Jogba versus Stephen Shaw. Uh, I do apologize. I couldn't watch it. It wasn't available where I'm at. <clears throat> uh, the app was acting funny. I couldn't watch it until now. So I've taken a chance to look at it. And what we saw, people, was a back and forth chess match. It was a back and forth chess match. It was a square off. It was a standoff. And these guys, it was the battle of the jabs. Okay, because that's basically what people landed. I mean, it was uh, Stefan had his, had his guard up. He was waiting to counter. And Efe was looking for the big right. Um, he started looping his right hand because of the guards up, of course. All right. Which is understandable, but it just shows you, though. Once you raise the competition level, the knockout stopped. And Stefan caught him with some good shots. He was trying to he caught him with a few good lefts in that fight, um, a good right hand I believe in the fourth round, and that kind of, that got Effie's attention and it wobbled Effie, you know. Um, but this is this this is nothing new. This is heavyweight boxing. Um, I think the main thing why he won by unanimous decision, which wasn't a huge margin, okay was the fact that you see one guy knock the other guy around the ring. And when you see that, that's automatically going to give you the favorite nod simply because you're the one moving forward. You're the one that's the aggressor. And at times he was effective. And because Stephen Shaw decided to go on a defensive instead of sit there and trade with him, okay, he lost the fight. But again, was it a huge knockout? What is it, this viral knockout that we used to sing from Effie Ajagba? No, it wasn't. And my prediction for Effie Ajagba, the more he comes up, the opposition chain, we're going to see less and less knockouts. Plain and simple. Less and less knockouts. Because if he can't see the punch, if he can't deliver um, that lethal right hand blow, it's not going to work, you know, and especially when someone puts him on a defensive like that, like uh, like Stefan's uh, counter punching style. That's not going to work. So everybody that is a counter puncher will give him problems. Why do you think Frank Sanchez beat him? Now, he didn't do what Frank did because he didn't pick his shots effectively because he was too busy being on the defense. OK, he was on the defensive and that's why I think took that fight from him. But um, if anything, mediocre, again, it was a chess match. It wasn't nothing to holler about, but understand it was boxing. So if you appreciate boxing, you appreciate what a person has to do because both of those guys were in there and they were thinking. They weren't just throwing punches to the wind because that's a stupid thing. You don't just throw punches to the wind. Okay, so um, uh, an average win for F.A. Ajagba. Um, he took out an undefeated guy. You guys tell me what you think of F.A. Ajagba defeating Stephen Shaw by unanimous decision. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace!